I'm down here in Grants Pass, Oregon, stopping by to see Jeff Schroeder. And Jeff is an axe builder and does some very nice axes. He's gonna do uh, tips and tricks on how to hang an axe quick. Just the basics, do's and don'ts and uh, run through it for us. And it'll start leaving marks and that's where it's touching so that's where I start grinding at. And I take it you want to seat the head all the way down all and the then you down. cut your groove after that? The kerf, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll fit it all the way, so this is the shoulder. Yep. I like getting pretty, you know, a uh, half inch above the shoulder. Um, I like them to sit right down on the Got shoulder. Got a lot of meat you know, down there. Yeah. And then it's on and off probably 50 times. <laughs> We're all the way down to the shoulder. I'm gonna trim this down. I'm gonna probably cut half that distance off and then we'll cut the curve. When I'm cutting the curve, I wanna be either two thirds to three quarters down. You know, I want the wedge to go two thirds to three quarters. These rafters are short, so I like, I like going three quarters of the wedge. I like get, getting the curve a little bit wider than the blade. I'll sand over it. The bigger flame you have, the more even you can get it. So super dark, it's all pretty even, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's nice. So if you notice when the head's going on, it, it peels wood on the handle. So the final process I do to the head before I stick it on for the final time is I, I just chamfer that edge just a tiny bit so it's not peeling wood anymore. All right, the final fit. If you look down the bit, it should be in the middle of the palm swell. I use glue. I'm just, I just use wood glue, just this Gorilla wood glue. A lot of guys will put glue on the wedge and then slam the wedge in and it scrapes it all off. So I put, I put the glue in the curve before I, before I put the wedge in. I'm trying to fill, fill the gap in the curve, fill those gaps on the sides and fill the gap up front. The final steps I do, I just hold it in my hand and I just start slamming on the wedge right there. There's no gaps. Now we trim it off. So Danish oil. I'll put it in front of the fan for a couple hours. The fan kind of helps it, everything dry up and soak in. And then I'll come out a couple hours later and I'll do one more layer of oil. You can't put too much of it on there, so. It's a nice hang, man, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Absolutely. This is Jeff Schroeder, you can find him on Instagram. Hit him up if you want a nice ax, he can get it done. <laughs>